Good day, blessed Advent to you, and welcome to Our Lady Queen of Peace, and happy anniversary. Today we mark the 75th anniversary of our parish. This Gaudete Sunday, this third Sunday of Advent, is indeed a reason to rejoice. Our presider today is our pastor, Monsignor Ken Fiedler. Today's Mass is offered for the former pastors of Our Lady Queen of Peace. Our gathering song is Faith of Our Fathers. We are so glad you are here. Once again, greetings from our Lady Queen of Peace Church. This weekend we celebrate the third Sunday of Advent, Gaudete Sunday. Now, this particular Sunday, as well as the middle of Lent, priests have two options of vestments. Traditional purple, our rose-colored vestment, signify the halfway point. All these years we never bought a rose-colored. Why? It's only two weekends of the year. This year, we celebrate our 75th on Gaudete Sunday, this Sunday. And so we celebrate, and we are grateful to God for those who established our parish. Grateful to God watching over our parish, for all who have gathered. In the name of the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Be in our prayer. Let's take a moment. Call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, come to visit your people in peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, you come to all who are lost. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, you have called to create a new world. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins. Bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, we will see how your people faithfully await the feast of the Lord's nativity. Enable us, we pray, to obtain the joys of so great a salvation to celebrate them always with solemn worship and glad tidings. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever.
A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor, to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and release to the prisoners, to announce a year of favor from the Lord, and a day of vindication by our God. I rejoice heartily in the Lord. In my God is the joy of my soul. For he has clothed me with a robe of salvation and wrapped me in a mantle of justice, like a bridegroom adorned with a diadem, like a bride bedecked with her jewels. As the earth brings forth its plants and a garden makes it growth spring up, so will the Lord God make justice and praise spring up before all nations. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. In all circumstances, give thanks, for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Do not quench the spirit. Do not despise prophetic utterances. Test everything. Retain what is good. Reframe from every kind of evil. 
May the God of peace make your perfect holy, and may you entirely, spirit, soul, and body, be preserved, blameless, for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will also accomplish it. The word of the Lord. be with you. Our reading for the Holy Gospel according to John. A man named John was sent from God. He came for testimony to testify to the light that all might believe through him. He was not the light but came to testify to the light. And this is the testimony of John. When the Jews from Jerusalem sent priests and Levites to him to ask him, who are you? He admitted and did not deny it. I am not the Christ. So they asked him, what are you then? Are you Elijah? I am not, he said. Are you a prophet? He answered, no. So they said to him, who are you? We give an answer to those who sent us. What do you have to say for yourself? He said, I am a voice of one crying out in the desert. Make straight the way of the Lord. As Isaiah the prophet said. Some Pharisees also were sent. They asked him, why then do you baptize? If you're not the Christ or Elijah or a prophet. John answered them, I baptize with water, but there's one coming among you whom you do not recognize, the one who is to come after me, whose sandal strap I am not worthy to untie. This happened in Bethany across the Jordan where John was baptizing. The Gospel of the Lord. I am a voice crying out in the desert. My friends in Christ, as your pastor, I am honored to be able to celebrate with all of you this, our 75th anniversary of Queen of Peace Parish. Hard to imagine. It was 75 years ago, a small group of people had a vision of starting a new parish and then the far west side of Madison. It was back in June 1945 that six couples met at an abandoned golf course, Westmoreland, and they had a dream and a vision. They looked around, they had desire to bring Christ, to start a new church on the west side. Two of the representatives met with the Archbishop of Milwaukee. In those days, by the way, Madison was under the Archdiocese of Milwaukee. The Archbishop told them, 
if you could find 300 families to join, you could start your parish. Those six couples went out and very little time found over 300 families that joined that had a common vision, a common vision of being John the Baptist of the 1945s, to bring Christ to others, to establish a new community. And it was in December the 12th, 1945, the first pastor was named and Queen of Peace was established. 318 families. If those founding members could look back, they'd be amazed. But they started with a vacant golf course. 318 families. Today, we're over 2,800 families or units. We have a church that seats 1,000, a school, 460 students, a wonderful gathering space for meetings, social activities, a parish office building, high school-sized gym, three homes, and two locations for the Catholic Multicultural Center. Look what they started, and we benefited from their faith and their call to evangelize. Back last fall, I attended virtually a workshop on evangelization. And the author, one of the authors, put it in a way I never thought of. He said the only reason the church exists, the only reason is to evangelize, to bring Christ to others. That's our sole purpose. And I quote from His Holiness, St. John Paul II. I sense that the moment has come to commit all of the church's energies to a new evangelization, a mission. No believer in Christ, no institution of the church can avoid this supreme duty to proclaim Christ to all peoples. So the challenge today as we celebrate our 75th is to continue that legacy. To continue what was started by that small group of people of faith, like a voice of John the Baptist. We too are called now to evangelize, to continue the work. How do we do it? Sharing our time and talent as he did 75 years ago. A little harder these days with COVID-19, but hopefully that will end. But also our financial support to continue the work of all that is needed for Christ. Ironically, by the way, when this parish was founded, they didn't build the church first. They built the school, evangelization, and then the church. So simply today, I challenge all of you, first of all, to thank God for the founding members of our parish and all they have done. Thank God for all the people for the last 75 years but to know that we are now the leaders today. We are the ones setting the stage for the future. We are the John the Baptist, the voice of God, pointing out Christ. And now, not the far west side, they're called Midtown, because Madison has grown so. May God continue to bless the work of Our Lady, Queen of Peace. May God bless all of you. As one family, let's stand together, renew our profession of faith. I believe in one God. Lord of the Father before all ages, God from God, right from right, true God from true God, because of not made, consubstantial with the Father, 
Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was a kind of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under a precious heart, and suffered death and was buried, rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, with the Father and Son is adored and glorified. I have spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. Look forward to the resurrection of the dead. I have the world to come. Amen. Let's offer our prayers to our loving God. For the church, that in what we say and do, we may testify to the presence of Jesus in our lives and in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who are reminded of difficult events and emotions during this season of joy, that they may find comfort and peace in the reassurance of Jesus' love, let us pray to the Lord. For non-Christians who may feel excluded during this season, for tolerance and respect, for people of all faiths or no faith, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For our church, that we may be the voice crying out in the desert, which proclaims liberty to the captives of racism and helps the brokenhearted, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For our relationship with our sister parish in Chiapas, may we continue to work together to bring the word and love of God to each other and to all in need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish, as we celebrate our 75th anniversary, may we continue to pray together, to serve together, to learn together, and to be God's light in the world for another 75 years and more. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Shirley Smith, may they enjoy eternal rest in the peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, we ask you to hear our prayers, prayers we mention, and prayers in our hearts. Grant them through Christ our Lord. Pray, my sister and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept the sacrifice of your hand. Praise and glory of his name. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly. 
to complete what was begun in sacred mystery, powerfully accomplished for us your saving work through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty Eternal God, for all the oracles of the prophets foretold of Christ's coming. Virgin Mother, longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist, saying of his coming, proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice, Nativity, that we may find us watchful in prayer, exalted in praise. So with all the angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you have life to all things and make them holy. You never cease to gather a people to yourself, that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O oh Lord, we humbly implore you, by that same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. As command, we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, giving thanks said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave you blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of his saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection, his ascension into heaven. Look forward to his second coming. We offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. 
Grant that we, who are nourished with the body and blood of your Son, may be filled with the Holy Spirit, become one body, one Spirit in Christ. May make of us an eternal offering to you, offering to obtain an inheritance of your saints, especially for the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Joseph, her spouse, blessed apostles, the glorious martyrs, all your saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for help. Lord, may this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O oh Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, your servant, Francis, our Pope, Donald, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, clergy, the entire people your Son has gained for you. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful God, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, to all who are pleased to you to be passed from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, from whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Sayer's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. Help by your mercy. We are always free from sin, safe from all distress. We await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, said to your apostles, peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, Graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to enter under my roof, but only say the word in my soul. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We implore your mercy, Lord. This divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults, prepare us for the coming feast. Through Christ our Lord. Bread from the Mound will be available for sale in the gathering space next weekend. Details on how to reserve your order and arrange a pickup time are in the bulletin. All proceeds benefit our youth ministry summer mission trips. Next weekend is Hospitality Weekend. The Blue Buckets will be out to accept donations for St. Vincent de Paul. 
Her sister parish will be set up in the gathering space to sell coffee and crafts for those last minute Christmas gift needs. Catholic Multicultural Center mugs will be available for purchase and the Catholic Multicultural Center bins remain in the gathering space for your food and pantry donations. Thank you for supporting those who are less fortunate this holiday season. And personally, I'd just like to thank you on behalf of all the, our brothers and sisters in need at the Catholic Multicultural Center, and especially during this year, with the need growing, uh, we wouldn't be able to do it without you. Thank you very much. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's go forth to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. On behalf of Father Rich and all the staff members here, we share a very happy 75th parish anniversary. Different.